Good evening. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being. You set light in the sky to govern the night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our first lesson comes from the book of Isaiah, one of the servant songs. Isaiah writes, Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break. A dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice on the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says the God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and the spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring the prisoners out of the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from the book of Hebrews. The author uses familiar images of temple worship as a metaphor to explain to his audience the significance of what Christ has done for us on the cross. He writes, But when Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls with the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
we respond to these lessons with the gospel canticle. Please join me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For these holy houses, and for all who offer in them their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembled body, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For what and for whom do God's people pray? For these and all the prayers of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. 
by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ as we continue on our Holy Week journey together. The peace of Christ be with you.